Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the third week of June read. Start from the 15th through the 21st of June 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what is coming up for you for this uh, week time. I will be adding messages from your person and oracle cards as well in this read. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, Gemini's. What is coming up for you for this week time? Let's begin. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. The Tower. King of Wands. The World. Queen of Swords. Ten of uh, Swords. Two of Wands. The Judgment, Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups. I mean, the deck we do have the Seven of Wands. Now, Gemini's, I really feel like, you know, there is something that you are very uh, um, attached to. It can be a relationship, it can be a person that you're currently dealing with as well. But there is a situation that you're really feeling so attached and so caught up with all the time during this week time. Maybe it is a person that you really love, that you really, you know, uh, that means a lot to you. Um, you really want this connection to, to manifest. You really want this connection to be. You really want this connection to go next level. You have been praying for it. You have been affirming for it. You have been like, you know, wishing and hoping and desiring around it all your life, maybe for some of you. Um, now, what I see here with this person is um, this person is not giving you what you want. You know, it can be a commitment that you're asking for. It can be marriage that you're asking for. It can be like, you know, let's make this connection official. It can be just that for some of you as well. But whatever it is that you are desiring, demanding from this person, I really don't see that this person is giving you that. Um, now, what are you going to do? If I say that this person is not going to give you what you want, what will you do? Would you like to give up on this person and move forward, move on with the new person, move on with your love life, move on and... Uh, um, you know, something like that? Or do you do you want to choose to uh, surrender the timing of your connection with the this person to the divine? I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, um, you are not ready to do both. You know, you are not going to choose to do either of them. So, which is the reason why I do see your love life is going to stay stuck? Or if not, then you will be having issues with your person during this week time. Uh, because uh, you would complain for your person not giving you what you want but at the same time um, what you can do on your part you are not choosing to do that as well you you are going to find like you know as if you're losing your faith in this person and their intentions you would start doubting their feelings doubting their like you know emotions towards you do you are going to start feeling like you know um maybe you need to let go of this person and then what what is going to happen is you will not be able to do that even so I feel like, you know, this week is going to be the week where you have to understand one thing. Uh, what you desire, this person also desired that. But right now, maybe the given situation or the given circumstances are not in the favor of this connection right now. So what can be done to bring things in the favor for this connection is surrender the timing of your connection to the divine that you believe in. Um, believe and have faith and trust your person and trust yourself as well. If that cannot be done, I really do see you stuck in your love life. Um, I really feel like, you know, you might be picking up some arguments with your person. You might be like, you know, uh, confusing yourself and uh, doubting their intentions. Um, you would feel like moving on, but then at the same time, you would not be able to, able to move on as well. So I really feel like, you know, it's going to be a week where you have to understand it for yourself and uh, try to um, clear your, your mind about this person and their... Uh, their um, feelings towards you 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 might be feeling right now as well because of the delays because they are not committing to you you might doubt their intentions uh, and i feel like you know which is uh, um which is why you are experiencing more delays here i feel like you know there there is love and this connection um but at the same time
at the same time um i feel like you know your person really needs uh you to um be understanding of them and their needs right now and name for majority of you maybe your person really needs uh some time and space for themselves right now uh they they might be very stressed with their legal affairs that they are currently dealing with it can be a uh, uh, a divorce it can be some legal matters regarding their work it can be some legal matters regarding their uh, family situations like buying property or selling property cars or something like that there are some legal documents that they are worried about right now um and i feel like you know if if you could give this person their space and still stick around believe have faith things will turn out for you in your favor so that's what is needed right now let's see what is it that this person really wish to say to you right now They really want you to know that I love you as much as you do. I want this connection as much as you do. I want this connection to be stable as you do. All I want you to do is be a support to me right now. Um, be the solid rock for me right now. I love you and I want to give you all. But right now there is something which is stopping me and I'm dealing with that. So let me get done with this. Meanwhile, just be a support to me. And that's all they want to say to you. Let's see the Oracle cards now. Let's see what the Divine has to add to the read for you guys. What is it that you need to do to have what you desire with your person? Our first card is, it's time to receive your reward. I feel like you, know, you will be receiving your reward very soon with this person. If you could understand them and their need to be having their space right now. Ask for a sign and you shall be given. Like if you are doubting your person's intentions and maybe you are doubting that maybe they are dealing with another person. Uh, they are like a cheater or something. I feel like you know, it's very important right now for you to do one thing. you got to um, ask for a sign. You know, seek a, you know, a Say a prayer and seek guidance um, or a sign uh, from the from the divine. Like, you know, um, you can you can say, show me the path, uh, you know, show me the clarity or bring me the clarity if this person is uh, a cheater or not. You will be given that. Uh, you are my everything. This person really wants you to know that you are lovable. And uh, the divine really wants you to know that too. Like, you know, you mean a lot to this person. It's just that you're finding it hard to believe that right now because uh, you feel that uh, since your person is not giving you what you want, you doubt their intentions. Manifest your life partner and divine timing. The divine really wants you to know that one thing, that this person is your life partner. So instead of like, you know, to focus on them right now because you're seeing a lot of delays, blocks right now, the divine really want you to focus on your life partner right now. Since this is the one that you're destined to be with, you will be ultimately manifesting your life partner in them. So uh, yeah, try using that um, too as well. And now let's see the last card for this read. Let's see what else do you need to do to have what you desire with your person. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Again, I feel like you know your love life definitely is on the right path forward. Just that you are getting fearful because of the delays that you are experiencing with this person. So once you could, uh, you know, um, break free from the negativity that you are having right now around the situation, you would be able you would be able to see what this person is intending. You you are right now doubting their intentions. Trust me, their intention is exactly what you want exactly what you desire with this person um let me take two cards to see how their current feelings for you right now what is it that they're currently feeling for you page of pentacles for a fin uh, for of cups and the death hand temperance this person really wants to go um stable with you they really intend to have something stable with you but right now they want you to be patient with you with them um they are not with any other person right now if and when they have time if and when they are ready they are going to be coming towards you so you don't have to have fears around it their work is right now occupying them the most of the time so that's what they uh, really wish you could understand right now about the whole situation so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh week time if it was of help do like, share, and subscribe. And if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, you can check the description box for that. So yeah, until I do the next reading for you guys, take care and bye.